I mean, I was ready. I mean, I even had my wife's carry ready to go. It's similar to the James Bond gun. It's definitely not a Walther PP7, but it looked like it, felt like it, so that's why I bought it for her. What's up guys and welcome back to my channel where I talk and do everything pinball. So if that sounds interesting to you, then hit that subscribe button down below. We were supposed to be getting the James Bond reveal from Stern today, but late yesterday we received this message. On behalf of everyone at Stern Pinball and out of respect to the passing of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II, we will be postponing our webinar and delaying the launch of our James Bond pinball machines. We will send updated details for timing and registration once available. Now we've already got leaked images of their Bond game, at least the premium and the pro. They got sent out yesterday. It spread like wildfire, like they always do. And I wasn't gonna go over these pictures. I wasn't gonna do a video about these pictures because I knew that they were gonna be releasing the game literally within hours. And I knew that by the time that I was even able to do a recording and video and by the time you even saw the video then they would be releasing the game so i was like not even gonna worry about it but then we get notified that the game is gonna be delayed for who knows how long then i was like screw it let's talk about it now this has got to suck for start because it's been eight months at least since their last release and this is the longest they've gone without making a game and i, I don't know how long so you got to know that they were wanting to bring this thing out, red carpet and all, and show it off to everybody. And for it to come out like this, damn, it's got to suck. So with that being said, obviously these images are not high quality. They are not the true representation of the game. So everything that I'm about to say, everything that you're going to see, take with a grain of salt. Let's just go through every image and uh, we'll just discuss what we see. So the first image I have here is the right side of the premium cabinet. This is very similar to the art style of that we can re remember from its earliest point, Guns N' Roses, where they show different album covers on the side. This is basically five, one, two, three, four, five different movies that Sean Connery was in for James Bond. Now, some of these are a little bit difficult to see, and I still cannot pinpoint what movie is in the bottom right-hand corner on that back leg, but I'm going to assume that it's gotta be Thunderball. But you have From Russia With Love, Diamonds Are Forever, Goldfinger, and Dr. No, for sure. I can definitely pinpoint those titles out, but I cannot see that back one back there very well. Now, looking at the left side of the premium cabinet, we have the movie poster for You Only Live Twice. This is a mixed bag in a way because I like it. That's the thing, guys, is that I like the 60s era of art styles, especially for like movie posters and everything. I'm a big fan of this stuff. So even with the low quality image that we have to work with here, I like this, but I feel like this was the safe, maybe even the lazy route to go about it. This is like very similar to what they did with Led Zeppelin, where they took an album cover, blew it up, slapped it on the side, and called it done. I mean, judging by what I'm seeing up here in the back box, just this corner, it looks like it's the same color as the blue that we're seeing on the side here, so chances are it's going to be... That same image probably put up there in a slightly different offset point. Uh, another copy paste, copy pasta going on up there, maybe. So missed opportunity there. But again, I'm willing to bet that their hands were tied when it came to the aesthetics of this machine, guys. That's all that it has to be. Because we know that they have talent there and that could be there to really do this license justice, I think it was definitely their hands being tied by the license holder on what we're seeing here, as well as probably even the Sean Connery estate. So chances are they really had to limit what they could work with. They had to probably use with current assets. They could not recreate Sean Connery if I was a betting man. So they had to deal with what 
they currently had to work with. So with that being said, let's just say that is the reason. They had to use current assets and could not recreate. They've done well. This looks great. I, I, I like this art style. It looks good. Obviously, if they had the ability to do custom and more original and recreations, then they probably should have reeled in Christopher Franchi to really give this property what it deserves. And this art that's on the left side of the premium wraps around to the front where the coin door is at. Now, we can't see the back box for the premium, so the sides of the back box or anything, but I feel like if they don't have this image of Sean Connery on the back box, and I know they're not going to, but I feel like if they could have like changed the helmet from what it is to a pinball, I feel like that's a missed opportunity. I don't know. I feel like that would look pretty damn cool if they could have it to where he's holding a giant pinball instead of the helmet. But that's just mine. What the hell do I know? Now, I'm not going to move on to what we see inside the game yet, but I'm moving on to this image because this gives us a closer shot of what the pro cabinet looks like. And on the left side of the pro, it looks like it's going to be dominated by the Dr. No movie completely on that side. So I hope you like yellow because this game is going to be yellow. And if it's going to be just like it was on the premium, meaning it's going to wrap the entire left side as well as the coin door, it's a good amount of yellow right there. And I'm wondering if the right side of the cabinet is going to be just like the premium, meaning it's going to have the, you know, collage of all the different types of movies that Sean Connery was in. So uh, that might be what the right side of the pro looks like. We don't know for sure. So as far as right now, we can speculate. But all I can say is that there's going to be a lot of yellow on this pro. Then you have the back glass for the pro, the Dr. No. Now, this is where I feel like, uh, How about no? I do want to say no on this. So, <laughs> so it's, oddly enough, it's Dr. No, but I am I look at this and I go, no. This is, once again, the issue we have with taking current assets, blowing it up, putting it up there, call it done. And that's kind of what they've done here with this. And this is the, I, I hate to use the word worst, but this is definitely my least favorite of what I'm currently seeing with the art on this. I mean, because I don't even think that enhancing the quality of this image to show me the full color range is going to improve this. Because for when I look at a pinball machine, the back glass should tell me what game I'm playing. And I thought for sure this was going to be a 007 James Bond game, but now this looks like this game is going to be Dr. No. Not 007 or James Bond, it's Dr. No. I have studied this, merely just staring at it, and I cannot find myself thoroughly enjoying this being the back glass of a pinball machine. This is obviously my least favorite, and I feel like if they're aiming for the pros to really attract people to come play it, this is not the back glass to put up there to attract people to come play it. That's just me. So I don't know what the premium back glass looks like or the LE or the uh, rumored 60th edition. It could improve once we get higher quality imaging and see what it looks like all lit up from behind. I do that would definitely be a surprise to me if it changed my mind. We'll just say that. So let's look at the playfield image and uh, see what we think about what the playfield looks like when it comes to art. So I'm looking at this image of the premium with the guy reaching in to make an adjustment on something. And I almost don't even want to comment on this, guys. It, it's like it would nowhere near be the representation of what we're seeing from this shot. I feel like, I think this is gonna look really good, honestly. But the images that we've currently got are really not doing it any justice. And maybe I'm thinking way too positive here, but I, I feel like this is gonna look really good once we get some uh, better idea of it and we look down at it. 
Because I think that's what the issue is, is that a lot of us are looking at images and it's not putting us into the world that we're putting ourselves into when we're standing in front of the game. So when we're standing outside and you're looking at everything else and it just looks off-putting. But once you stand in front of the game and your eyes are within the machine, I feel like that's going to change the way you look at the art because you're going to be essentially in a different world underneath the glass, so to speak, and it may look a lot better. So looking at this, I don't hate it. I'm not in love with it. I'm merely saying that I think that there's definitely potential here and I cannot wait to see what it looks like in action. I mean, looking at the playfield art, there is a lot going on here when it comes to uh, profile images of all these different characters in these movies, all the different Bond uh, villains, as well as the Bond females. And it's like, looks like this game is going to have a lot going for it when it comes to things to do. Because uh, there's a lot of inserts on this damn game. Good lord. I feel like I have spent more time than I thought I would discussing just the art. So I'm gonna end up breaking this into two videos, one about art and one about what we are seeing inside of the games as well as the premium versus the pro. But going just by these images, the premium obviously aesthetically is more pleasing to the eye, but it looks like when it comes to how the game's going to play and what it interacts with the ball, the premium is gonna be the way to go again so in a nutshell for what i'm seeing on the art does the james bond pinball cabinet art suck no could it have been better yes is it more than likely the weak point for this release yes i think that this is definitely going to be the weak point on this game release and the thing is art is very subjective and that is one thing it may be one of those games that you know we may not like the cabinet art we'll just slide it in a lineup where we're not going to see it anyways what i think not myself as well as a lot of you out there care about is how does this game play and i feel like that is going to be the point that's going to be selling this machine is we're going to see how this game shoots and being gomez design and for what i'm seeing on here it looks like it's going to be a really cool shooter. But to reiterate, these images are low quality. And we could see this at reveal and be completely blown away by how awesome it looks. Which I wouldn't be surprised, guys. Because, like I said, I love the art style. This is right up my alley when it comes to just aesthetically pleasing. But I definitely agree if anybody out there says that this is, you know, probably easy copy paste or whatever it's like okay you took an image that already exists blew it up slapped it on the side of the cabinet called it done but i don't think it was because what's the best and easiest way to go about doing this i'm sure it had to have been a license holder decision and i've seen people make i'm not even going to call it an argument it's merely a comment stating that this side of the cabinet reminded them of thunderbirds what, because it has a blue sky and some clouds? Thunderbirds. Guys, come on. But that's going to wrap it up, I think, for the art discussion on the leaked images for Stern's next title of James Bond. Let me know what you think about the premium and pro artwork in the comments section down below. Thumbs up, subscribe button, ding my dong, and until next time, guys, peace out.